Well, in fact, uh, he stated over there that uh, he is ready to uh, take this fight uh, to the next step. He says that uh, he got to know uh, Nalin Kumar uh, Kathil because he too belongs to the Bunt uh, community. And uh, he says he also goes on to state that it's best for people now to be careful when before they allow uh, Nalin Kumar Kathil to enter their homes. And uh, he says that considering the fact that such people exist, he is a danger to society and especially with that position. Now, uh, Satish uh, Shetty states that uh, he will fight as a Shetty and will not back down. Uh, when FIR has been filed, uh, the Manglo police station. Now, he got, once he... Basically, in fact, he got uh, detectives on this particular case to get information for him and now he's actually come out with all proof to show the illicit relationship that his wife has, has had with uh, Nalin Kumar Katil. He also says that uh, Nalin Kumar Katil has been using his uh, or utilizing his wife. I have been in Bombay and I in Bombay. I have been in my relatives, my coffee family, my well-wishers, my friend in Bangalore. And today they are with me because I am fighting for the truth. I am fighting for justice. And the whole of Shetty community is going to stand by me and not stand by a person like Nalin Kumar Katil. And one more thing I want to say. One minute, one minute. Mujhe ek aur baat bolna hai. Is aadmi ko na Nalin Kumar Katil bilkul nahi bolana chahiye. Is aadmi ko Nalin Kumar bolna chahiye. Kyunki liye Katil ki amma hai na Durga Parameshwari. Uska naam kharaab kar raha hai. Aur main wohi Durga Parameshwari amma ka main haath jod ke aaya hu wahan pe. Bahut baar mandir mein jaake aaya hu. Wohi nayai karegi. Dekhna. That Durga Parameshwari from Katil is going to show him who is true and who is false. I he is, he is putting a bad name to the temple. He is a disgrace to the Shetty community actually. Well, in fact, uh, Satish Shetty over there uh, stating that uh, he will take this matter up. But it's also interesting because he did file a complaint. Before filing a complaint with the police, we're told that he did send a letter to the BJP because considering the fact that he is a Modi supporter. So now many people are going to question him as to why did he wait all this while in order to come out with this particular complaint. He says that he knows this has been going on for the past one year. He put detectives on the job, but he's only finally come out now. Now again, so that has to also be looked into over here considering the fact, where, was he trying to save Modi over here? is the next thing that people will question. Well, Satish uh, Shetty saying that uh, Nalil Kumar Kathil, the incumbent... I say a simple thing. In the marriage, there are no problems in the marriage. There are no Husband and wife, when they sit with each other, they do the same thing with each other, so there can be no problem in the marriage. पर नलिन कुमार के वजह से एक छोटा सा प्रॉब्लम बहुत ज्यादा बड़ा कर दिया गया और उसने उसको खुद के फायदे के लिए कन्वर्ट करके उसको सेक्सुअल रिलेशनशिप में परिवर्तित कर दिया देर वॉज नो बिग प्रॉब्लम एज सच इट्स जस्ट अ स्मॉल डिफरेंस इट्स जस्ट एन आर्ग्यूमेंट डज इट मीन दैट इफ हजबेंड एंड वाइफ हैज एन आर्ग्यूमेंट समबडी एल्स विल स्लीप इज विद हिज वाइफ हाँ मतलब आपके घर में अगर डिफरेंस है तो आपका कोई दोस्त है या कजिन है या हाँ मैं 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 कंप्लीट कर लेता हूं सतीश शेटी ओवर देयर स्टेटिंग दैट इट वाज जस्ट अ माइनर डिफरेंसेस Minor differences uh, between his wife and uh, between himself and his wife, and nothing more. He's uh, really angry that Nanil, Nalin Kumar Katil had to had basically uh, came in as the third person over here and spoiled uh, his marriage.
In fact, uh, we are now once more joined by my colleague uh, Nishita. Nishita, it's very interesting over here because he clearly says that he is a Modi supporter. Now, the question that uh, everyone will want to know is, for one year he knows this has been going on. Why did he wait for the elections to get over to uh, file this complaint? Well, uh, it has not been one year since he got to know about this is what we understand from the letter. We understand that uh, after uh, he uh, put a detective on the job and the detective pulled out all the details, that is when they realized that for over a year, um, his wife has been having uh, this uh, relationship, this uh, supposed relationship with uh, Nalin Kumar Katil. So it has not been a year since he learned about it, but we also understand that he too uh, is uh, a supporter of the BJP as well as uh, Narendra Modi. He claims that his uh, family is a respectable Bunt family from uh, Kasar Gore and uh, Nalin Kumar Katil is also a Bunt and that his uh, father... Chandrasekhar Shetty was a staunch RSS Swayam Sevak and that's the reason why he holds the RSS and the BJP in very high regard. He claims that he even sent across a letter, a personal letter to uh, the BJP leaders and they are the ones who requested to not file a complaint before the elections and he complied with this uh, request as he felt that it was a valid request considering that the elections were underway. And if he had come out with the allegations during the elections or before the elections, uh, the entire issue would have uh, got a political uh, twist to it altogether. So now that the elections are over, even the final phase of elections are over, uh, Satish Shetty has come out in the open to make his uh, accusations. But even though I see he seems to hold uh, BJP and Narendra Modi in very high regard, uh, he seems to be uh, in no mood to mince any words as far as uh, hurling accusations that uh, Nalin Kumar Katil is concern. Now he even claims that he is receiving life threats from Nalin Kumar Katil. Uh, on the 25th of April this year is what uh, he had come to Mangalore with his mother and ever since he has landed in Mangalore he's being followed by gangsters and uh, he is uh, receiving threat calls is what he right. claims. He even claimed that when uh, on one instance uh, a few days back which was on the 11th uh, when uh, he was uh, performing a puja in uh, Kadri uh, that's when he also received uh, he was right, being Nishita. followed and uh, the like uh, Nolan. Right Nishita, thank you very much uh, for all those details. Now, the BJP core committee meeting is underway in Maleshwaram. Now, former Chief Ministers Sadananda Gauda, Yedurapa, BJP State President Prahlad Joshi, Anand Kumar and KS Ishwarapa are present in the meeting. We are told that they are discussing the candidates for the Vidhan Sabha Parishad and Rajya Sabha elections. Now, they are also discussing the results of the Lok Sabha elections. Now, a man fell from the sixth floor of a call center in Dumlur. Now, the deceased has been identified as 23-year-old Mahendra. He had come to office for the night shift and before the shift ended, he had gone to the sixth floor for a smoke at six in the morning. And that's when he fell to his death. Now, Mahendra was working with Maruti Infotech and was a resident of Ramamurti Nagar. A case, as of now, has been registered with the airport police. Now, a fight erupted outside Chief Minister's residence as several supporters arrived to wish him. Now, they had come from several parts of Karnataka, especially areas in and around Mysore, to wish Sidramaya for completing one year as the Chief Minister. But they were disappointed since they were not allowed to meet him by the police. A verbal duel then broke out between the supporters and the cops outside the Chief Minister's residence. This happened when the police actually requested them to head back since the chief minister will not be meeting them. Sidramaya had said that the government will celebrate its one year in office after the counting of votes on the 16th of May. He said that since there is a moral code of conduct ongoing, the celebrations will take place after the counting. <laughs>
In fact, you can clearly see all those people, supporters on the right of your television screen, standing outside the CM's residence and the police actually requesting them to head back. However, the supporters uh, are clearly in an agitative uh, mood. They've come from different parts of Karnataka, mainly in and around uh, the Mysore region, to wish Sidramaya for completing one year as a chief minister. However, Chief Minister Sidramaya clearly stated that uh, there will be no celebrations now, considering that the model code of conduct is on, and that celebrations will take place only after the 16th of May. Now, a fight erupted between two cops in Tumkur late last night. ASI Krishnamurti was allegedly assaulted by a probationary SP, Dharmendra Kumar Meena. Now, a fight broke out between the two at midnight when ASI Krishnamurti reported late for the night beat. He was then called in for questioning by the SP. Now, ASI Krishnamurti was hit with a calling bell by the SP. He has now been admitted to Bowering Hospital after he suffered injuries on his chest. He has decided to file a complaint against the SP. In fact, uh, strange as it may seem, but a fight did erupt between two cops, that is an ASI and a probationary SP, and this took place in Tumkur. We are told that uh, the fight broke out when ASI Krishnamurti reported late for the night beat. He was then called in for questioning by the SP. That's when things went wrong. ASI Krishnamurti was hit with a calling bell by the SP, and he has now been admitted to Bowering Hospital after he suffered injuries on his chest decided to file a complaint against the SP.